we go. All right, on this episode of U.S. Rugby Issues, we're going to talk about Major League Rugby. What is Major League Rugby? Well, until pro goes away, they probably can't do anything, which is probably why this fact sheet distributed by this group um, says that they're not going to go till 2018 because if Pro somehow has a season this year, they maintain their sanctioning agreement. And it doesn't look like there's going to be a season. So if there's no season, they're good to launch. But if there's a season, we run into litigation issues. But I will tell you right now, Pro is undergoing litigation with USA Rugby. I haven't found the filing, but I will. Or someone will. Rugby Rackbutt's pretty good about that. Um... So, it's formed as an LLC. There are nine ownership stakes, equal, as I understand it. And then you have nine teams. And then the LLC is behind that. Austin Huns, Huns Rugby Management. Chicago Lions, Chicago Lions Professional Rugby. Dallas Griffins, DFW Major Rugby. Glendale Raptors, 1924 Rugby. Houston Strikers. Kansas City Blues, Blues Rugby Management, New Orleans RFC, NOLA Rugby Enterprises, Utah Rugby, or Rugby Utah by Rugby Utah Ventures, rather. Seattle Saracens, Seattle Rugby LLC. So if you look at, right away, if you look at the teams, it's very centrally located. One team in the Northwest, Seattle's a burgeoning uh, rugby hotbed. They have, you know, links with the Saracens, in the UK, the Austin Huns have professional links with Racing 92. They have a partnership to get better coaching, academy, etc. And in fact, uh, the Austin Huns just announced a strategic partnership with uh, Mother's Rugby of Mary Washington University, which is extremely awesome. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, so we get into that, and hopefully there's strategic partnerships with uh, top-end colleges with the rest of these programs. But one of the things I want to point out is there's no California team. California, uh, SoCal, San Diego area, and the Bay are some of the biggest rugby hotbeds in the country. Why there isn't an Olympic club or an SF Golden Gate? or an Old Mission Bay Athletic Club, or even Belmont Shores Rugby Club. I don't understand. Um, California needs to be a part of this. Uh, the Phoenix area is a burgeoning rugby hotbed as well. Uh, so, you need to look at that. Um, this is only the beginning. We're, you know, I think what would be about 15 months away from the first season. So, as they say, early days yet. So, we could end up having a California team. I would love to see Ombak and SF Golden Gate or Olympic in this competition. Um, let's see. Too many elements. Now, we get into some issues. They leaked this info. They wanted people to talk about it. But... This group didn't follow up with a website under construction. Didn't follow up with a Facebook. The name Major League Rugby has been out there for a while. It used to be owned by Grand Prix Entertainment. As I understand it from all sources, the name has been purchased for an undisclosed sum. What did not come with that was control of the previous Facebook page which should have been taken down immediately. And the website's controls and domain names should have been handed over to this group. So that tells me there's a lot of back-end support that hasn't been done. They need a league, they need a league office. And what does the league office look like? Uh, the league office itself, since each team is run as a separate corporation, much like MLS, MLB, and the NFL on and the NBA, so there's going to be revenue sharing uh, with some type of sponsorship deal and 
television deal because based on what I understand is there's a major sponsorship deal in the works for the league and there's also a television deal in the works for the league. Uh, the Austin Huns are already on Spectrum so you can definitely see that with nine teams there's going to be at least a cable television deal maybe a deal with a sports network rather than just a one cable company so you'll be able to see these games effectively uh, and not having you know we're five days into this cycle and people are talking about it. people want information what I expected was they leaked the information and a couple days later there would be a press release on a piece of letterhead that said this, this, and this. But we're not getting that. So that's where you're getting a lot of, I wouldn't say negative comments, but skeptical comments from people like myself, people like Grant, people that are out there. We want to know what this is going to look like. Rugby people in the United States want this to succeed, but if you do not give us information, you don't have to be transparent. I don't need to know every single thing that's going on the inside, but uh, things I want to know. Are you going to have a team doctor for every team? You better, because Pro only had one doctor. All right. Um, Salary cap. What is the salary cap going to be for the league? Uh, it, it, I don't, it's, there's no way that you can approach even Guinness, which is about three and a half million dollars right now per team. So, and roughly you're going to contract about 35 guys and name a side of 23 because that's how we play rugby union. And, uh, you know, there needs to be a structure. Are you going to have a combine or are you just going to contract players like they do in, you know, the, the premiership? You're just going to, like, recruit players and have a salary cap. Is that what you're going to do? Uh, what I do like is that youth rugby development is a huge piece of this. Because these programs, so the Austin Huns, they have their Division One. they call it the Elite Side, but they have their Division One. they have a Division Two. they have a Division Three, and then they have several youth programs. So they're a very strong, well-backed organization. Seattle Saracens, very strong, well-backed organization. Glendale Raptors, very strong, well-backed organization. Most of these clubs are at least 40 to 50 years old, so they have built-in support networks already. Youth rugby is important. Uh, one of the things, are they going to be a fall or spring season? I think it needs to be a spring season. That's what I need. Why? Because you can't compete with the NFL. And you shouldn't want to. You just shouldn't. Because there's plenty of airtime in the spring. You know? And rugby is a spring sport. Really. So... Contr not control the press, but feed information to the press. Because just rugby outlets are talking about this. Not local outlets, and not the mainstream sports outlets. Because if we get the mainstream sports outlets on this, you can create fans that are just curious about rugby. That's something pro didn't do well. But, um, so. It's exciting right now for U.S. rugby. Uh, we've had a lot of issues. So I want to I wanna know more information. I want to, you know, get behind this. But if you don't feed your fans, they're just going to get annoyed about everything. So. Major League Rugby is supposed to come in 2018. We'll see if it happens.